what's up guys welcome to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys some sandpapers that i've been working with you know to get the project silverado ready for paint uh these were sent in by jason from eco abrasives so huge thanks for sending in a care package with the sample products uh, i'm going to be showing you guys uh how they work on the tailgate i'm going to remove the tailgate on the truck and i'm going to be you know going through all the steps uh so that way i can show you guys how they work and you know once again huge thanks to ego abrasives and let's get this video started I took off the tailgate, I fixed a little bit of the low spots and I also removed the double sided tape left behind. So now it's just time to sand down the surface. For that, I'm going to be using Ego Abrasives products. Uh, I'm going to leave their link in the description so you guys can go check them out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with their Tri Pro abrasive discs. These, they offer them in 600 all the way down to 60 grit. Uh, these are full resin over resin bonded for fast cutting and they have a super tack backing for a quick hook and loop. Over here I have my palm sander with the uh, Evo Abrasives sanding pad. This is 6 inch, it's plain, no holes. I'm going to leave their link in the description so you guys can check them out. I'm going to use a variety of products here, uh, grits in the Tri Pro series just to get this uh, straightened out. and.
All right, I just finished sanding the tailgate, all the body filler and all that. Uh, so now I'm just gonna mask everything down so I could add some primer. All right, the primer is already dry. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it using the Tri Pro and 320 grit. looking to you know straighten out your primer even more guide code is what you need so after you sand down with 320 you get some of this this is just some black powder so you get this and you run it in circular motions around your primer and this will go into your valleys like the low spots of your primer and then you can block sand with 320 and then 400 till you no longer see any more guide coat this right here, this is the Kovacs dry guide code. There's a part number 9780001. And you can find this at Eagle Abrasives website. So I'll be using a sanding block with one of the sanding discs, just like that.
All right, so I already did the block sanding using the Tri Pro and 320 grit. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start laying some paint down. Uh, I'm gonna be using the single stage and the color is gonna be gunmetal gray metallic. So here we go. overnight and it is now dry uh, so now the fun begins if you painted your panel and it came out really really nice and you don't want to do any type of wet sand to polish it uh, but you did get like a little imperfection on your paint this right here this is toe cut offered by ego abrasives this is uh, basically your detailing uh, sanding block and sheets. So these are supposed to help you um, Get rid of any dirt nibs or runs in your paint that you may have gotten so There's a toe cut system if you 
if you are going to, you know, sand the whole surface to give it a polish, uh, over here, over here I have uh, the Super Acilix. Uh, these come in many different uh, grits. They're all color coded. Uh, let me get one right here. This right here, the material. This is a ultra flexible latex abrasive. So really, really soft material. Uh, this is a thousand grit, but the backing right here, this is micro hook. So over here, this is the interface pad. So I'm gonna put this on the palm sander. Oops. And the back side right here, this is the super tack, the, the hook and loop. On this side over here, this is the micro hook for these sanding sheets. So you just align it and it hooks on. So this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna give this tailgate a scuff with the, what is this, a thousand grit. And I'll work my way up from here. Let's take a closer look at the paint. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, the finish is pretty smooth. You don't see any sand marks. Starting to see some reflection going on already. And although the Super Acilix has the grits, if let's say you were going to add a coat of clear, uh, you can sand it down like 800 or 1000 and then spray your clear. Um, they also have right here sanding blocks. So you could do it by hand but anyways over here are the super bufflex the super bufflex these are the 2000 2500 and the 3000 grit this is already right before the polish so i'm going to slap one of these on the palm sander and just give it a quick go there's a little um, little guideline if you're working with a dark color uh, you could do 2000 grit then 3000 and then your polish 
Uh, but if you're working like a lighter car, like a white, you know, lighter silver or whatever, you could just do it the 2500 and polish out, uh, on top of that, and you should be good to go. This right here, I'm gonna do the 2000 grit and then the 25, uh, I mean a 3000 grit, and then we'll go from there. Here I have the dark green. This is in 2000 grit. Same material, it's ultra flexible, latex abrasives. The black pad. This is the 2000 grit super bufflex. Let's take a look at the surface right here. This is the finish left by the 3000 grit super buff legs. Everything looks pretty good. The finish is absolutely amazing. This is going to be a whole lot easier to polish, which brings us to our last step. Uh, I'm going to be using this. This is the Polex. Uh, you could also find this one at Eagle Abrasives. Uh, you can find the link in the description. So this is a two-in-one polishing compound. There's a part number right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this right here. This does the the work of both, you know, the compound and the polish, uh, with one bottle right here. So I'm gonna use this to polish up the panel, and I'll show you guys. Alright guys, so I'm done with the polishing compound. Um, this right here was just two coats, two passes with the polishing compound, the Polex. And check out that reflection, it re looks really, really nice. Um, the sandpapers that I was using were the Super Asilix. Uh, for the finishing right here, for the paint, the Super Asilix and the Super Bufflex. They're both meant to be used dry. Uh, so you don't need any water, you know, to achieve great results. Um, but yeah, compound works really nice. You know, some nice reflection. The sandpaper just, you know, left a really smooth and uniform finish. Uh, just made, like, the job a lot easier. So if you guys are in the market for some sandpapers, check out the link in the description. Or go to Eagle Abrasives. Um, they have many other products than the ones that I showed in this video, but yeah, really good products. So that's gonna be it for this video. I really appreciate all you guys watching and uh, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. That's gonna be it for today.
appreciate all you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.